At age 76, Rosette Goldstein says that every day she's reminded of the deaths of her father, uncle, aunt, and cousins, all murdered by Nazi Germany. Four-year-old Rosette survived, hidden by a French family. However, it was her native country's national railway, SNCF, which more than 70 years ago transported 76,000 Jews and other so-called undesirables to their deaths. They put them in cattle cars with straw on the floor, a bucket in a corner, and they taught their employees how to lock the doors of the cars, the train cars, and to clean the train cars after the trip to Auschwitz. The rail company has always denied being a willing Nazi tool, but has expressed regret for paying a part in the Holocaust. The SNCF, a state enterprise, was a cog in the Nazi extermination machine. We will not forget it. But unlike many other companies which collaborated with the Nazis, SNCF has refused to compensate its victims. And the French government has limited the $6 billion it spent on Holocaust reparations to its own citizens and others living elsewhere in Europe. So more than 200 victims who live in the U.S. are aiming at SNCF's corporate bottom line. The American company controlled by SNCF holds $3 billion worth of contracts to operate American commuter lines, including this one. Now it wants to bid on another contract worth twice that amount. The campaigners are fighting to bar SNCF from competing for business in the state of Maryland. And in the U.S. Congress, another bill would strip it of immunity from human rights lawsuits that foreign state-controlled companies now enjoy. Under that pressure, the French government has begun talks on compensating the survivors in America. But victory would come too late for Leo Bretholtz, a campaign leader who escaped from an SNCF train before it reached the Auschwitz camp in 1942. Come up with a statement of, yes, we did wrong. We sent people to their death and we got paid for it. Two days after his 93rd birthday, he died, just before Brett Holst was scheduled to testify in support of the proposed legislation, one less victim to be compensated. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.